live with little no editing it's defense up cosmic crucible edition i'm run seven how you doing today we're going to be going over stochasticism's cosmic crucible defense now we spent a lot of time talking to a lot of different people juicy and pathfinder were there helping me out beforehand they are not here on the line anymore so i am running without a net we're going to go over these teams it's very complicated in cosmic crucible because of the room bonuses it makes it much more different than war defense and that's why i have a lot of people helping me if you want to help me figure out these teams and come up with the best ideas then be sure to join me monday wednesday and friday on twitch nine to noon central time you can uh, come here and harass me or give me good ideas, be helpful, or just laugh at all the stupid stuff that goes on here in chat. All right, we're going to jump into it. We don't grade on who you're using to place with the power levels, their ISOs, and what kind of mood I'm in. We pretty much just grade on what other people are telling me works and doesn't work because there is a variety of levels that you can play this game at. Whether it be Wood League or up there in Masters, you've got a whole different approach. Now, Stocky's got a little bit of a vanilla kind of cookie cutter defense going on, and I think that's a good place for us to start. Team number one is the New Warriors with T'Challa Star-Lord and Yo-Yo. So either we need to get T'Challa Star-Lord out of there and replace him with Black Bolt to give a little bit more synergy to Yo-Yo, or better yet, we kind of like going like a dad bros instead of the New Warriors. The New Warriors are just a little too slow on this one. They're gonna get cut up pretty bad. Another thing that you could do, if you really want to use the new warriors on defense, throw in a pre-taunt tank like Red Guardian or something so that it gives them a little bit more time to get going. Also, Star-Lord T'Challa's opener is his alt, which copies uh, effects around him. And the way it times out, he's not copying a lot of good positive effects. Although Dagger would give him offense up for his second turn, we think that he's probably going to be dead before that happens. So this is a, a team that's a little too slow out of the gates. And if you're going to be using Yo-Yo, you could make her a raider and put her with a dad bros composition so she crits early and gets the dad bros going something along those lines as for the isos and the placement of this specific team it's pretty good we just don't like the composition that's being used here i think there's better things and the new warriors could be used on offense for some other stuff so for us i think this is a b minus team not really done wrong but i think there's just better options out there team number two is the axemen the biggest problem we have with this is the placement Beast next to Bishop is a big no-no. Uh, Beast is somewhat the backbone of this team. You got to keep him alive. So let's go Bishop, Iceman, then Kitty, then Beast, then Jubilee. Uh, also, I'm thinking that the ISOs on this team should be Bishop as a striker, Beast as a healer, Skirmisher on Iceman. I don't know what's going on with Raider. Raider has almost no value unless you're using his special on offense a lot or something. So, so definitely Skirmisher on Iceman. And then probably change Jubilee to a Skirmisher. Now, um, the idea here is, is that you want at least three Skirmishers with your striker so that there's a good chance for triple taps. If you want to run Jubilee as a striker, then have all three there in the middle be skirmishers. So it's Jubilee and Bishop as strikers and everybody else as skirmishers so you can still get those double taps. So we definitely need a placement change. That's the big issue here. I'd like the ISO change on Beast. I'd like the ISO change on Jubilee. Those are necessary, but what is necessary is definitely changing Iceman to a skirmisher. I think in all cases, he should be a skirmisher. So for me, th those are some pretty easy changes changes and they're kind of detrimental so i'm going to give you a c plus on this team all right spider mania in room three here we go with the effects now the spiders are getting uh safeguard and some deflect on spawn which isn't huge but it's a good reason to try putting some spiders into this team now you have the tangled web trio in here which is amazing what is going to happen though is that you're going to have an eternals composition i think it's eternals uh loki Emma and Zemo is going to come in here. Zemo probably lands the ability block on your spider weaver. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. That deflect could help. Uh, and then the Eternals, Icarus blows up and he's going to kill Spider-Man Noir, which will cause a double tap. This team's going to get blown out of the water. So if you're going to have this little uh, tiny Noir in here, then we need to replace either Symbiote Spider-Man or ghost spider with somebody who's going to add some speed to the team uh juicy says that uh, a simple cable will be enough to beat that team that's going to come in here so try putting cable in in place of my pick is ghost spider get rid of her and put cable in 
That way, Symbiote Spider-Man gives the team that health bonus, which makes them last a little bit longer and hopefully uh, will cause your opponent to do some more turns. But if you are a big fan of Ghost Spider, then you could replace Symbiote Spider-Man with Cable and it'll make this team a lot better. So we need a composition change. Otherwise, the ISOs are pretty good for this team. I'm going to go with A-. minus. This is still a pretty tricky team and pretty tough to beat. And honestly, there's, there's basically a one solid counter, and we just want to work against that one. Also, note... I'm still using Bionic Avengers against the Tangled Web. I think Spider-Man Noir is going to put a lot of damage into them, uh, and Spider-Man 99 is going to put some slows on them and really debilitate that counter. But if you have a big Bionic Avengers, you might be able to still punch down into the Tangled Web regardless of who they're using, especially if it's some Tangled Web members with the um, Web Warriors. So that's, that's an option, but it, it does get riskier the more Tangled Web you put in here. All right. Room number four, um, we have the Uncanny. We like this one. We like the ISOs, we like the placement, we like everything that's going on here. Uh, latent Power is an okay room for these guys to go in, but really it's that Age of X bonus that's making this work. So good job here, you get the A. Moving on, we get the Biological Temperament. The problem that we have with this is that the Bio team, uh, the Gamma team is in this Bio room and we like them better in six. Why? Uh, basically it speeds up the Red Hulk and it reduces the amount of counters to going into that. Also, I think we could do a placement swap with She-Hulk and Red Hulk putting him in the middle so that whoever is taunting, there's some splash damage going on Red Hulk. That plays out completely different in war. We had a big long discussion. I learned a lot about how Red Hulk gains charges in war versus Cosmic Crucible. So trust me on this. You're going to want to go Hulk, Red Hulk, She-Hulk, and then you're going to have your Abomination and Brawn. Power levels kind of discern where you want him to go. I like Brawn as a skirmisher and only having Hulk as a striker. Uh, Juicy kind of likes having Hulk as a healer, but we think that maybe Green Hulk needs to be bigger if he's going to be a healer. Like one more Red Star, maybe some Teal Gear on him, put him as a healer, and then you could keep Brawn as a striker. So either change Brawn to a skirmisher or build up your Green Hulk and make him a healer. Either way is uh, is good. Honestly, I think you should build up your Green Hulk no matter what. You can get some crazy damage out of him. Uh, the big thing is move this over to room six. That's going to help you out a lot. This biological temperament bonus doesn't seem to be helping a lot of tunes. It's all about the age of X. All right, moving on to team number six. This is what you're going to slide back into room number five for no other reason than you just want to make room for Gamma to fit here in team six. Uh, we kind of like what's going on. Skirmisher on Lady Deathstrike is okay. I run mine as a striker because I like the double taps, extra bleeds I get off of that. But Skirmisher is good. You can also make her a raider if you want. There is a case to be made for making Wolverine a striker to speed him up, especially because he's the only hero mutant on this team. And he's going to be the one that removes any kind of revives for like a dorm team that might come in here, or if uh, Infinity Watch tries to come in here or something like that, he'll remove those revives off that character. And if you have him as a striker and he double taps into the vulnerable, it will give him speed up on his next turn. And you get a few more turns at him a little faster. Hopefully that helps. I don't know if that's worth the blue ISO changing. I know Stocky is very particular about wasting blue ISOs. So we'll see if he wants to do that or not. Otherwise, the placement's good. The ISOs are good. These are This is a, a good team slot. Slide them into room five. I can give you a uh, A minus for this team. Some tweaks you could make. Definitely want to change the rooms, but other than that, I think it's pretty good. All right, uh, a big thank you to Pathfinder Gaming and a big thank you to Juicy for joining me uh, earlier today. We're going over all this stuff. We're going to do our best job to bring you the best, most up-to-date information. Remember, there's a lot of different stuff happening at a lot of different levels. So whether you want to go with these more cookie-cutter teams or you want to start mixing and matching some really crazy stuff, like I had a crazy idea about what if you were to replace Symbiote Spider-Man with Miles and Ghost Spider with Red Hulk if you happen to have Red Hulk unlocked but don't have your Gamma built, that could make for a crazy team to throw in room six and people would be like, oh my goodness, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So there's all kinds of crazy stuff we get to do in Cosmic Crucible. And as we go over more of these defenses, I hope to be bringing more ideas to you and helping you guys out. So remember, guys, don't just have a good game. Be good to yourselves and others, too. And I'll see you next time. Bye.